It's frozen video, laggy video, and slow playback messing up your editing workflow? Have no fear, your PD professor's here. And I'm gonna show you four ways to end video preview lag once and for all in PowerDirector 365. Method number one is enabling shadow or proxy files. If your project has footage with a resolution higher than 1920 by 1080, you can generate shadow files. Shadow files are temporary files, which are added to the timeline for editing, which decreases the workload on your computer. When your video is exported, it will use the original files to create the video using the resolution you select. To enable shadow files, you want to go to set user preferences. Then you want to go to performance. And you want to check the box next to enable shadow files. Here you can choose your uh, shadow file resolution. And once you're done, you can click on OK. Once the shadow files are ready, a blue icon shows up at the bottom left corner of the videos in the media library. Method number two is lower preview quality. Using a lower preview quality reduces the workload on your computer and improves playback. To do this, you want to go to the set preview quality button. You want to click on preview quality and then you want to click on whichever preview quality that you select. In this circumstance, I'll choose high preview resolution. Now, before I get into methods number three and four, I need you to stop lagging and start tagging the like button. Subscribe to Power Director University and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Method number three is non-real-time preview. Non-real-time preview mutes the audio and plays your media at a slower speed. Now, this allows you to be able to see each frame very clearly. It also reduces the workload on your computer. To do this, you want to go to the Set Preview Quality button, and you want to select Non-Real-Time Preview. Now, you get a pop-up message telling you that it's going to mute your audio. Click on OK and everything slows down exponentially. Method number four is preview render. Preview render allows you to view your footage at a higher resolution in real time speed. This creates a temporary preview file in the background and uses it during editing. You wanna place your cursor at the position where you want the render to begin. And then you wanna to go to the render preview button. Once it's done, you'll see a green line above the portion of the timeline that's been rendered. If you only want to render a section of the timeline, you can right click on the timeline bar and then you can select range. When you do that, you can move the yellow markers to wherever you want. And then if you select the preview render button again, it'll render that section. Keep in mind, if you edit a clip after you do a preview render, you'll need to render the preview again. If you want to speed up your video export, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the link in the video description to help the channel stay alive.